Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today our old lawnmower died after 20 years and I just had purchased this new Cup Cadet riding mower. And let's take a look around. We're going to go over to how to use the tractor and the various features of it in this video. Show some demonstrations of mowing after again we do a general overview. Also the riding lawnmower has a 42 inch cutting deck. The area that I mow is a little less than an acre so the 42 inch cutting deck is more than ample. The instructions claim it's good for up to an acre and a half. And there you can see the model numbers on it and here's a look at the side where the grass discharge is located on the mower deck on the lawnmower. Now after looking around the tractor, the lawnmower itself, let's go back up front, open the hood, and let's look at the engine closer, exactly what it does is powered by. First of all, it is a Briggs & Stratton engine. Very dependable brand and lawnmower engine for years. It's 19 horsepower, as you can read on the cover over the engine. And here is some more data, the model number of the tractor, and more parts numbers and that for belts, oil filter, which is nice that they included it. And there you can see the mower, I only used this one time before making this video, it's nice and clean, there's the starter, and if you have a little bit you can see the cylinder head. And here's the opposite side of the engine, you have a fuel filter. And we'll look down here a little bit, and there you can see your roll filter, easy to access for service, your carburetor. Also, this is a single cylinder engine, Briggs & Stratton. My old lawnmower was a two cylinder. And here we're going to go through the pre mow checklist. We're checking oil. I, I'm sorry for the camera not wanting to focus on oil, but I wiped the dipstick off, stick it back in, and just double check it here one time. And it is good, but again, the camera does not want to focus on the dipstick itself. Since I'm happy with the oil level, stick the dipstick back in, and now we're going to take here and we're going to shut the hood momentarily. I want to show you a nice feature I do like with this mower. And here you can access the gas filter without the hood up. My old tractor you had open the hood to put gas in it, but not this tractor. And besides, you don't have to have the hood open to put gas in it. The filler on the gas tank itself is at a nice angle with the spout on my can that you don't need a funnel and it pours in easily as you can see from watching the video. In addition, the tether strap on the gas cap is nice. It'll prevent losing the gas cap. And the lawnmower is just like a modern car. You want to turn the cap onto a clicks a few times. And there it's around a half a tank. It was about all that was in my can. And I want to save some for the push mower. And here I'm just showing a demonstration of how the mower deck goes up and down. With the lever on the, when you're sitting on the tractor, it would be on the right hand side. And now before we go too much further, I'm going to take and engage the parking brake before we start the mower. You have to either be holding the brake down or have the parking brake engaged to start the mower. And as you can see, you have to really push forward way down to get the brake, the parking brake to engage, but there that is accomplished. Now we will start the tractor by pushing the throttle lever the whole way to the top. It stops at the, like the rabbit emblem and then give it another push and turn the key. Take notice, the choke only need closed for a very short time until the tractor started running rough. And now we can just slide the throttle lever down while the tractor is idling. And you notice it started easy with no problem. And now it's idling at a nice slow speed. Okay, now it's time to disengage the parking brake. And you can see with the parking brake disengaged, that parking brake lever on the console of the tractor moves up and down freely and we'll pull the tractor outside and we will proceed here to 
show you some demonstrations of the tractor mowing. Before engaging the PTO, I'm going to put the mower deck down to, I believe it's like marked an inch and a half, it's where I mowed with it the first time, and now we're going to engage the PTO. <laughs> I find the tractor steers very easy and it's nice and maneuverable around these trees. That's one reason I wanted to show you the tractor mowing in a tight area, first of all, before out in the wide open. And if you see this little headlights, they burn as soon as you turn the key on, they're on. They're little LED lights. Okay, now I'm done mowing in this small area. I'm going to disengage the PTO, raise the mower deck, and I'm going to show you here to go backwards with the tractor. You have to be have the PTO disengaged, but you take your foot and that pedal. You see, there's a small pedal back on the footrest, and that will allow the tractor to back up. But if you go to back up with the tractor, with the PTO engaged, it will stall. Now momentarily I'm going to let the tractor idle, but you have to disengage the PTO and set the parking brake and you can let the tractor run while climbing off of it. While watching, you can see a demonstration of what I was talking about, how easy the steering wheel turns. I was steering it easily with one hand, going around. Now it's time to climb back off the tractor here again. And you can see how easy it is to get off of it, and also back on the tractor. And I had to take a break and grab a cup of coffee, and it has a cup holder to accommodate my needs. And now we're going to mow here more in the open with it. As you notice, the tractor is fairly quiet on the top end, but down at the level of the mower deck, it's noisy, but you don't really hear that up on top. Well, I hope this helps you out, answers any questions you have for our little demonstration. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and check back again.